this exercise, we demonstrate the nested four loops. We will draw two simple shapes, a, s a rectangle and a triangle, using the asterisk character, and the lines will be built up by four loops. I've already created the form, so let's just um, see what controls I've placed on here. I have two radio buttons so that the user can choose between a rectangle and a triangle and a group box to group those two radio buttons. Then I have the button that they will click to actually bring up the drawing and I used a rich text box for the drawing itself. Okay, so we will create the click event handler for the button draw. The first thing we need to do is to insert an if statement because we are either going to draw the rectangle or the triangle. So I'm going to say if rad rectangle dot checked then this is where we're going to draw the rectangle. Else, we want to check if the other radio button was checked, the triangle radio button. In that case, we're going to draw a triangle. Okay. So let's do this part first, where we draw the rectangle. So we're going to use two for loops, one nested within the other, to do this. So we want to, uh, we, I'm just going to decide on a size of the rectangle for now. I'm going to say the rectangle will be a 10 by 10 rectangle. So there will be 10 asterisks in a line and there will be 10 lines that will make up this um, rectangle. So in the for loop, remember, we first initialize the counter. So I'm going to um, count the rows of the right, right rectangle using the counter i and this is going to start at 1 then we're going to test is i less than or equal to 10 and we're going to increment it by 1 okay so that will go row by row so what should go inside this for loop for every iteration of this for loop in other words for each line of the rectangle we want to create a string consisting of 10 asterisks. Okay, so I'm going to use a for loop to do that as well. Obviously, there are other ways to do it, but to demonstrate the for loop, I'm now going to use a for loop to do that. So this for loop is nested within the other one. We're going to, in this case, use j as the counter. We want to add 10 asterisks, so the loop is going to be executed 10 times. So condition will test up to 10 and the incrementation will also add 1. Right, so it's important to understand in a nested for loop that for each iteration of the outer loop, the inner loop will complete all its iterations. So if i is 1, j will go from 1 to 10. If i becomes 2, then j will again go from 1 to 10. Okay. So in here, we're going to build up a line. So I'm going to declare a string variable called line up there that I'm going to initialize to the empty string. So this is the variable we're going to use to build up the list of asterisks. So let's say line. Equal to line plus and then an asterisk. I'm just going to include a space here so that the asterisks are spaced out a bit. Okay. So what we have so far is in the inner loop, j is going from 1 to 10. For each value of j, it will add one more asterisk to the line string variable. The line variable starts as an empty string. 
then with the first iteration here we will add um, one asterisk then with the next one we'll add another one and so on now after the, all the iterations of the inner for loop has been completed we have one line and we want to then add that line to the rich text box before we go to the next iteration of the outer for loop okay so then in other words we here we say rtx text and i'm going to use plus equal line okay and then i'm going to add a slash n because once we've written this line to the text box we want to go to the next line okay All right so everything over here happens inside the outer for loop so every time the outer for loop executes the last thing that happens is a line will be added to the rich text box then it will go to the next iteration it will create another line it will add that line to the text box okay there's one problem here um, if I run the program now you'll see it won't work correctly and the reason let me do it and then I'll show you okay I'm going to choose rectangle and I'm going to draw so what is going on here so what happened is the first line there has 10 asterisks so that worked fine then the next line is weird but what actually happens here is because the, the um, rich text box is too narrow this is actually the first the next two lines is actually one line of asterisks there are 20 asterisks if you go count them you'll see so it just added the second line's asterisk to the previous previous lines and now it has 20. the next one if you count them you will see they are 30. okay so instead of creating a new line of 20 asterisks every time it just added 10 more asterisks to the previous line so we have to go fix that and to fix that we just clean up the line every time just before we go into the inner loop to create the string okay so we can actually yeah we can take out that initialization and we have to clear the line every time we've written a line and we go back to the for outer for loop come in we make we clear the line and then we start building up the line again okay so if we run it now it should work properly there you go and now we have to draw the triangle and what is interesting is that to draw the triangle the four loops look very similar to that of the rectangle okay why is it complaining about line now oh it is because i declared line inside the if statement that was not ideal okay i'm just taking it out there so that it's also available in the else Okay, so what I've done is I've just copied and pasted the code for the rectangle into the else part. But obviously something needs to change for us to draw a, re a triangle instead of a rectangle. Now, if you think of it, when you write the first line for the triangle, you want to write one asterisk. In the second line, you want to write two asterisks. In the third line three in the fourth line four so you can see the pattern here and remember the outer loop represent represents the lines therefore 
we can use the counter of the outer loop as the upper bound for the inner loop. So I'm going to change the 10 that we had in the inner loop to i, which is the counter variable of the outer loop. So what will happen now? If i has the value 1, it comes in, clears the line, and now j will go from 1 up to 1, which means that this line will only be executed once, and we will only have one asterisk. Then it goes back to the outer for loop. Now i becomes 2. We clear the line, and then in the inner for loop, j will go from 1 up to 2, which means this loop will be executed twice, adding two asterisks to the line. Then it will put it in the text box. Then in the outer loop, i will become 3. Now j will go from 1 to 3, adding three asterisks to line and adding that line to the text box, and so on. Okay, so just that one simple change changed the rectangle into a triangle. Just test it. I now click on triangle, that will work. If I click on rectangle and click draw, oops, we again forgot to clear something. Okay, so what happened here is if I use the button, if I click on the button more than once, it just adds the new shape to the end of the rich text box. So to fix that, all we need to do is right in the beginning of the uh, event handler, so when the event handler starts ex executing, we are just going to clear the rich text box. I run it now, let's see what happens, okay, so I draw a rectangle, then I draw a triangle, so you see now, it didn't add the triangle to the end of the rectangle, it first cleared the rectangle, and then started the fresh drawing the, right, um, the triangle, okay, okay, and that is it.